A new study from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration reveals some drastic predictions for how quickly our sea level will rise before 2050. Our ABC 10 News meteorologist Leah Pizzetti spoke to a local scientist for an in-depth understanding on how San Diego's county coastal communities will be impacted by these predictions. A new study from NOAA shows that in the next 30 years nationally, sea level rise will increase as much as it has in the last hundred. There are many factors at play here locally that make this something we need to keep track of. Hopefully we find something. A walk along the sand is possible right now. But a new study shows ocean water will inch up higher. Yeah, we want our we beaches. Want we don't want to lose our beaches and the water to keep coming in. NOAA's latest report shows nationally sea level rise is expected to increase by a foot in the next 30 years. We're going to see this increase in flood frequency that can often be very damaging and, and that is going to be a problem for us within a time horizon that we and our generation will be able to see. Scripps Institution of Oceanography Coastal Resilience Specialist Laura Engeman was one of the practitioner reviewers of this study. She says while the West Coast is only projected to rise between four and eight inches, there are other ongoing factors that will make it worse in San Diego. Sea level is a stressor, but the result is flooding and the result of and the, the reason we flood is sort of what we call like stacks. So it's like sea level rise, plus it's a higher tide, plus we've got ocean warming because we've got a big El Nino or just elevated water temperatures, plus then we get waves. And so if we have combinations of those events, or combinations of those things happening more often, we're going to just see flooding more often. She says the coastal areas that will be impacted the most are lower elevations like Imperial Beach, places that are usually impacted by high tides and places that have good surf. It's those communities that need to take this data and start planning. Now we have pretty good science in this report to make some, what I would say, some pretty hefty decisions that that cost millions of dollars and that are going to require a lot of planning and permitting and lead time. She says local leaders need to focus on reevaluating coastal roadways and parking lots to make sure infrastructure is in place once this flooding worsens. If we're reactive, then we're never going to have sort of the financial capacity or the human capacity to really deal with these um, type of events or more frequent events as time goes on. And while scientists are confident this is the reality for the next 30 years, she says people can take action now to change the trajectory of emissions past that. Leah Pizzetti, ABC 10 News. Noah adds that emissions do matter, and if emissions do not drop by now, there could be an additional five feet of sea level rise by the end of the century.